get my six. Guys, I'm taking you with me on my cool down. <clears throat> I just biked what I call my short loop, 35 minute loop. So I need to walk around for about 10, 15 minutes, just kind of cool down. And uh, I'm up here in the backyard, getting ready to go around the trail, the upper loop. And I heard bang, bang, bang. Three clearly distinct tree knocks in the forest behind the campground. And I took that as if he, she, it, or they were sending out the message here, he comes. So I thought, well, let's get the phone, take the folks with us, walk and talk and see what we may or may not see and or hear. And you can see it's a clear, clear day, not a cloud in the sky. Well, there's a few clouds, but sunny. No signs of rain, so let's see if it just happens to rain out of nowhere like happened one day last week. Um, so far, so good. It's a beautiful butterfly. I saw a ton of butterflies on my bike ride. I went uh, down a, a back road, a country road. So, I made the video yesterday, and it was about um, people like being critical of you, people just for some reason deciding to make your business their business, uh, and it had the effect I wanted it to have. Got a lot of great comments on that. Um, I it's amazing how many people have have been have gone through or who are going through the same thing and um, I guess it's just human nature for people who aren't very happy to seek out people who are and kind of harass them a little bit but shout out to Sherry Ember very supportive follower very supportive reader um, she mentioned in a comment it was it was, it was like wow and, and she reminded me of some other things this d-bag I was talking about yesterday had done but Sherry said she has planted hundreds of trees too. She loves to just get out there and, and do the physical uh, work, planting the trees, watching her progress. And she had, she had some uh, neighbors who would watch her work hard all day and then would walk up, come over, and just start clapping like at the end of the day. I thought, wow, how arrogant is that? And uh, Sherry, I'm sorry you had to deal with something similar, but that's just pure arrogance. I mean, I'm sure Sherry isn't out there doing what she enjoys and what she loves to show off, you know, or for applause any more than we do it. We just enjoy doing it. So, uh, and then Catitude, of course, shout out to Catitude to Ken, uh, big viewer, big reader of the books, which are available on Amazon in print and Kindle by way of the, the link in the description. And you see that back there? Keep your eyes on it. I stopped for a reason. Yep. Came out a little farther shaking a little bit because it's well and now it's gone whoa man oh man they sent out the word here he comes knock 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 and they're peeking already peeking from around the trees all right yeah but catitude mentioned the word critical just people who are critical got to criticize the way everybody does something and that reminded me of an instance and again I, i've let this go and i was hesitant to even make that video um, because I never want to come across as being negative. I want to bring the solution to the table. So if there's a problem or if there's been a problem, I don't even like to talk about it in videos until there's a solution. And um, basically the solution was just being honest with the dude. And, and again, not being mean, not trying to be mean, but I guess the truth heard. It's like, look, we know you don't do anything because you're lazy. It's not because you're super sophisticated and the smartest guy in the room and you're just too smart to do manual labor it's because you're lazy and uh because you know while that individual observed me over the years i observed not you know in any sort of voyeuristic way it's just you notice your surroundings especially when you were a, a machine gunner in a combat zone then you spent six years in a place where you had to be extremely observant as well 
And those of you who have been reading October Nights are finding out what some of those reasons are. They just can't be discussed here on this platform. Um, so is this a hawk or is this a watcher? But uh, anyway, just talking about people just being critical. I remember a couple of times, because, you know, we have a pond in the front yard and um, full of fish. A bunch of them were already in there when we bought the place. We, we actually put some in ourselves. We would, we, we, and we still do this when it's not so hot, but not as much as we used to, but we're going to start doing this again lots. We used to love to go down there after uh, breakfast every morning. You know, we, we would eat in the, in the spring and the fall. We spend the majority of our time outside on the front porch. And in the summer, we move to the back porch because it just gets too hot. There's in footsteps. So anyway, after breakfast, every morning after breakfast. Yeah, I see it. Keep watching. Um, we would uh, take our leftover toast or, or biscuits, or sometimes we'd just go in the house and get some slices of bread and come out and we'd feed our fish. Twice, this individual, I guess, might have even been just watching us have breakfast, but he chose to come down while we were feeding our fish and say, you know, if, you're, if you, you can go to southern states and get some fish pellets, they're packed with protein and all kinds of nutrients and stuff, like oh no, we 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 don't we're not have no interest in doing that. We're just you know feeding them. He goes well. There's just no there's no nutritional value right there. You're just not doing those fish any favors. I was like well we're not poisoning them. We're not killing them. He goes yeah but you know there's just there's no value added to the fish by just feeding them bread. And I was like dude we're not feeding the fish for the fish per se. We're feeding the fish for us. We like watching them. We like seeing how big they've gotten. How many there are. You know, we like watching the, the big giant bass come around trying to catch the, the bluegills while they're eating the bread. He's, and he's like, well, I just wanted to let you know, you know, you, you can go to southern states and just buy fish pellets and you're, you're just really not doing anything. There's no nutritional value there for those fish. That, that happened twice. And I was like, looked at my wife. I'm like, what was that even about? And well, she, she, she figured it all out for me. She said, he's just an a-hole. But she didn't use, she actually used the real term. I just don't, okay, I, I just heard a knock. So anyway, huh, this is interesting. We gifted a pumpkin down here the other day, and I'm going to show it to you here in a minute. We have not had any high winds, no storms the last couple of days. There's a breeze right now. But we put the pumpkin up on like a piece of firewood. Um, standing up and it's now it's been knocked off no oh, I know anything could have done that just don't, oh don't read into that you read it oh crazy lake everything's Bigfoot Sasquatch related with you you're just paranoid yeah keep watching back there I see it I see it <sighs> not everything's Bigfoot Sasquatch related just a whole lot of it is All right, so um, I'm actually, today might be one of those twofers where you get two videos, because again, I wasn't planning on making this, but I am planning on getting back out here after I get some food in my belly and uh, either cutting some more weeds or splitting and stacking some more firewood, doing something physical, really trying to get back into homesteading shape here now that the summer's heat and humidity has moved out. It was a beautiful, beautiful, perfect temperatures and everything for the bike ride so um yeah so just i mean just to reiterate from yesterday that's a spider web just get these people out of your life and if they keep coming again the best somebody commented the way that i can't remember if it's a guy or a girl he tells them to f off that's probably pretty effective now, if some of these individuals were to ever come back, it's probably just the, the quick fix I'd revert to, but I don't think they will. It's been so long. And again, thank God for small favors. But uh, you, you hear that? Clearly heard. What was that four knocks in a row what's that mean some people claim to know what this stuff means like one knock is for food or three knock is a challenge or i don't know i don't know that's what 
Okay, that was somebody starting a car way over there on the other side of the road. But, uh, okay, so here's the pumpkin. You heard that tree knock? And it started just as I started walking. Look way back up there. Guys, I'm gonna flip the phone and zoom. I see what looks like a head. There's our pumpkin. But what is that? as far as I can zoom. Keep watching back here. I'm gonna put the pumpkin back. There are no teeth marks, so it's not like something tried to eat it. And it's possible it fell. All right, so I'm gonna wrap this up because I'm hungry. I needed to get some calories and come out here and start doing some more manual labor, physical labor. Not to show off, but because I enjoy it. Um, so yeah, again, I was just, I was going to say again, uh, you're not the one with the problem just because you do what you enjoy doing, not hurting anybody else. Um, get the people who are critical of you just doing what you enjoy doing out of your life. They're miserable. People will always criticize you for just anything. Um, somebody commented on that video yesterday. They said, strange noises, bangs. They said, uh, Kevin, you need to hide your gray hair. So that's what they got out of that video. <laughs> it was a video about getting critical people out of your life. Sounded like a strange screen. Doing the things you want to do simply because you enjoy them without, you know, justifying it to anybody. And what they got out of that was that I need to hide my gray hair. You hear that? How? Not a single gray hair on my head will ever be hidden because just like every line on my face, I've earned every one of those gray hairs. They will be showcased with pride. <clears throat> I gotta go eat, but check back later. Check back in a few hours after watching this one. You might get two again today. See you for more next time here from the PBS. You hear that, Hal? S. The potential Bigfoot Sasquatch show.